Hey everyone, Time Gem here, uh, here to do this week's comic reviews. Uh, let's go ahead and get started because we got quite a bit to uh, cover this week, uh, especially a, a big, big uh, release this week, uh, which I really, really want to talk about. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, first off is uh, Thor 612. Um, pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, I, I, I like where this story is going. Uh, especially with all the you know all the mythical stuff like you know with with uh, dealing with Mephisto, dealing with Hela, uh, she's basically dealing with the underworld and stuff like that. And Thor, Thor and and company are, are feeling pretty helpless right now, especially with all the uh, uh, with these uh, fallen as guardians that that uh, they they basically are. Um, cannibals they're basically cannibals or, or zombies i should say they're more like zombies than they are anything uh that they eat the the flesh of fallen uh, uh fallen warriors fallen as guardians uh and uh they want to they want they want to feast on thor excuse me for a bit um but yeah um pretty good stuff mephisto's in this and um he's offered he offered to deal uh, a deal with thor in the last part of the uh last part of the issue and, uh, you know, Thor's just basically just stonewalled him, like, you know, like, you didn't even say a word, he's like, okay, I was just like, okay, I just thought I'd ask, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, but, you know, hey, here you go, you know, welcome, welcome to hell, and that's basically what happened, you walked into hell, so, uh, it's not the first time Thor's been in hell, but, um, you know, this may be one of his greatest adventures in hell, Thor 612. Next up for Marvel is Secret Avengers number three, this was really good. Uh, we find out where what Nick Fury's been doing uh, after uh, after the siege, where he's been, uh, or 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 more than likely what he uh, what he's doing with another group. He's with the I guess he's with the Secret Warriors, and now he's with uh, this organization that's uh, uh, doing doing uh, the, the basically going against. Uh, Steve Rogers crew and we'll, we're gonna wait and see if uh, Steve and, and Nick have a exchange of words or exchange of fists later on in the uh, in this series because um, as you know uh, Steve is now the head of shield and uh, who knows how Nick Fury feels about that if he agrees with it or not uh, there's really hasn't really been much said over that uh, over Nick and, and uh, Steve, over Steve getting uh, uh, Nick's old job back, so uh, or old job I should say. Um, good stuff. Uh, Nova Nova possessed by that crown thing is really kicking butt. Um, man, it's gonna be hard to figure out whether uh, they can stop him or not uh, because this big centurion thing uh, tried to stop him, took him out. Nova took him out in one hit. And uh, really bad. And, uh, but this, uh, the only thing I have, I guess I'm nitpicking here, uh, but they said the the crown and, and the, the, the people on Mars, or the, the creatures that, that inhabited the crown or whatnot, possessed them, uh, have been around since the beginning of time. And, and in, in this they said um, that it was before the Celestials and before Galactus. Um, now correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Galactus... Wasn't Galactus there at the beginning of the of the of the universe, um, and didn't the Celestials kind of create everything? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not really digging the the anti continuity stuff there, but um, oh, we'll see what happens. But the, the art is great in this. Always always great art. So, uh, Secret Avengers number three. All right, I'm gonna save that one for last. Uh, Green Lantern Corps, number 50. Yes, a big landmark issue for Green Lantern Corps. Um, Cyborg, as you see, Cyborg Superman uh, returns. And um, I have forgotten how much I really, really enjoy Green Lantern Corps books. Um, Peter T uh, Thomasy, uh, he, um, he left the book. He's going to be, uh, be doing another Green Lantern book. Uh, which will be out next month, uh, but this was really good. This was really good. Uh, uh, Syed and uh, John Stewart 
they're, 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 well, basically, John Stewart was playing bait uh, to Syed, who, uh, who Hank Henshaw, the cyborg Superman, kind of wants for some reason. He does not really explain why he wants him. Although he, uh, we're thinking um, that, uh, or is the Syed or Gathed? I, I think it's, it's Gathed, I think it was, if I remember correctly. I'm getting confused with the two books. Anyway, um, we uh, uh, we see that an, another uh, it may have been the the uh, the corrupt uh, guardian that was talking to Hank Henshaw in this one. Um, why he wants him for some reason, and uh, Hank Henshaw has a, has a power battery in him. How did that happen? We don't know yet. Um, and, and and it's kind of, it was really very well well written, but. We've seen this story before from from Cyborg Superman. He wants to die. He wants to die. Um, but but if he wants to die, he's going about it the entirely wrong way. I mean, he, he's he's doing it. He's really doing it the wrong way, and I guess that's sort of his fatal flaw. I guess. Um, but still, very well written. I'm liking where this was. Tony Bedard is 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 going with this. Uh, so. Landmark issue, Green Lantern quarter fifty. Pick it up. If you're a Green Lantern fan. Speaking of Green Lantern, Jeff Johns is still doing a great job in Green Lantern number fifty six. Uh, <laughs> uh, Hector Hammond has come back to, I guess, kind of uh, give Green Lantern a hard time. Lara Freeze is uh, out trying to find out where Santa Claus is. He wants to find Santa Claus because he knows Santa Claus will give him all this stuff that he wants. Uh, and we do get a kind of a uh, a glimpse into Laura Freeze's mind as to why he is so greedy. Why not? Why is he so wanting stuff? Uh, and we get a picture of, of his mind that he was kind of separated from his from his parents and from his family. Maybe he's, you know, wanting wanting a family, or maybe he's just feeling material things for that gap he feels in his heart. Uh, that could be, could be the case. Um, and the uh, um, the entity that that, um, that that embodies the orange light uh, now is in pos uh, has now possessed Hector Hammond. So we will see what happens to Hector Hammond and the entity, along with the other uh, entities that, that have been uh, scattered throughout the entire continental United States. What happens with them? Uh, the uh, Saint Walker is with question right now, uh, finding his. Entity, and uh, we'll see what happens with Carol and Sinestro um, as to whether what is going on with those uh, other entities. So, good stuff, good stuff. Really enjoying Green Lantern. Really, really enjoying Green Lantern. Another DC book, another Brightest Day uh, tie in is uh, Green Arrow number two. Uh, this was good, really, very well written, too. Uh, good action in it, good. Uh, pretty decent art. Um, it's just yeah, just a good good story, good story all around. Just a lot with uh, Green Arrow. Um, just just one one thing though. Uh, Hal is kind of telling uh, Ollie that you know, you know, you don't need to stay in this forest. You know, you, you there's there's other stuff that 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 goes on, and you're needed elsewhere. You know, they always you have a home with the league. Don't be stuck in this place. You know you're you're all alone, and and, and you know, that could that could really damage you in the long run. All he's like, you know, uh, uh, this is my home. This is where I live. I've kind of condemned myself to this. Um, you know, he he's really I guess maybe punishing himself for for stuff that that's happened around him, uh, which I don't see why he is, but I I, I guess he is doing it for some reason. Um, and a big, big, big time cliffhanger at the end. That was just kind of like, whew, how is he gonna get out of that one? Um, good stuff though. Uh, Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Yeah, number two. 